Hello, function students. Uh, the next lesson in your book is going to have you graphing sine curves and cosine curves. Um, so what this little interactive uh, applet does is um, relate going around the unit circle like we've been doing to the, the wave of a sine and a cosine curve. Something to notice about this graph paper that is different than what you're used to though is that instead of having the x-axis marked with um, regular numbers, it's marked with um, radian measures that relate to the unit circle. Uh, so for instance, that's pi over 2, you know that's the same as 90 degrees. Um, you know that's pi, the same as 180. Here's 270. 360 degrees. Back to 90. There's 180 again, so you see that it cycles. Um, on here is a slider I'm going to use to increase the degrees. Um, the cosine curve and the sine curve, um, one of them in starts at 0 and one of them starts at 1. And that really relates to um, thinking about the unit circle. What is the value of cosine and sine there at the point 0 degrees? Um, from all our work with well, looking at the unit circle, um, you know the point right there at zero degrees is one zero, and following the pattern cosine theta sine theta for our x y points, then that means that the um, the cosine curve should start up here at one. Um, so let's uh, display a cosine curve and make sure your teacher's right. Okay, so they they put the y intercept there at 1. Uh, what's going to happen is uh, as we go around the unit circle um, the cycle wave of the cosine curve is going to is going to go to. I'm going to stop it at 90. Okay now we're at 90. You know that point there is uh, the point zero one, uh, which means the the value of cosine should be zero there. Then again, what's what's showing us? Um, let's think about what happens when we get to pi. On the unit circle, we know that pi is over here. Um, that point being negative one zero. If we follow the cosine theta sine theta pattern, um, the value of the cosine curve should also be negative one right there then. Let's go to 180. There you see we got to negative 1. I'm going to go ahead and, and finish out the curve. Go all the way around to the circle. We should get back to, to 1 since 2 pi is the same as regular pi. Let me cycle through back back through those angles again, clear it out. Um, the same reason that this sine and cosine curve cycle is is because the same thing happens on the unit circle. Um, you know, especially when we're filling out that unit circle on our final R notes, um, you know that this zero degrees zero pi is of course the same thing as three hundred sixty degrees and two pi. Uh, so let's watch that sine curve again. It starts at one because the value of cosine there is at zero degrees is also one. It comes down, reaches zero, goes to negative one, and when we're at 180 and then turns back around at 270 at zero and 360 all the way back to one. What would happen if we could keep going around is it would come through here and get back to zero at five pi over two which is back again at 90 it would go to negative one there at three pi and it would keep going. Okay, let's think about the sine curve. It's going to have the same shape but it's going to be in a different spot. Um, here at zero degrees, thinking about back at zero on our graph, um, the sine value is zero because the point there on the unit circle is one zero. Um, so the graph, instead of starting at 1, of sine is going to start here at 0. 
it's going to behave a little bit similarly. We'll start it at zero degrees. Instead of going down, it goes up to start. And it cycles back through. 